I'm the Nature Nerd, and I want to show you how nature engineers, evolves, designs, and survives. And I want to show you just how cool all of that stuff can be. In the last episode, we talked about how individual organisms build their bodies, shells, cells, and skins. And in this episode, I want to talk about the four unifying principles that deal with how larger communities of organisms interact with each other, their environments, and ecosystems. The first rule is that in nature, information is key. Normally we think of information being associated with the human world, computers, books, the internet, but information is, in, is also essential to the natural world. Every organism on the entire planet has some way of taking in information about their world. Whether that's the rather simple photoreceptors on plants, the pheromone detectors on ants' antennas, the heat and infrared-seeking pits on a snake's face, or the electromagnetic sensors on a shark, Every organism on this planet has some way of taking in information about the environment around them. And this information is critical to that organism's survival. It lets them find food, shelter, mates, and avoid predators. All critical aspects of surviving on planet Earth. And the big thing about this information is that it doesn't exist in a vacuum. Communication is also a critical part of nearly every organism's life. And oftentimes ensures survival even more than that individual creature's actions alone. The second rule is that in nature, mutual benefits and collaboration are super important. Mostly we think about predator-prey relationships and the competition for food or light or energy or resources. But in actuality, there are much more collaborative relationships in nature. There is the interconnected and amazing ne chemical network of fungi mycelium in the ground to trees that allow them to communicate about different chemical conditions in the soil. There are termites that have a symbiotic relationship with their own gut bacteria that allow them to break down woody material and tough plants. There are birds that allow meerkats to know when predators are nearby. And there are fish that eat the parasites off of sharks' tummies. Nature is full of examples of mutual relationships where one species or one individual helps and benefits another. And it goes back and forth. In nature, helping out your neighbor is oftentimes just as important as running away or competing with them. This leads us to the third rule, which is to know your neighborhood. In nature, understanding the environment around you and the ecosystem is just as critical as taking in direct information from your little zone of existence or collaborating with other creatures around you. By understanding the changes in environmental conditions, that ensures that you can survive and thrive. By understanding the migration patterns of species around you or changing behaviors in your food species, or the availability of certain types of plants, or changing sea levels or weather patterns. All of these are critical to every species being able to survive and thrive in their various zones of existence. And the key here is that understanding your environment around you comes from your own senses and from the creatures around you. You need to know your neighborhood in order to survive in the long term. Nature is resilient to change because of the first three rules and because of diversity. It takes information to survive, it takes understanding your environment, and it takes collaboration. But it also takes diversity. In nature and in ecosystems, there are often multiple species of animals that perform similar functions for that ecosystem. For example, we have termites that break down tough cellulose and plant material to recycle it into dirt. But there are also other species of insects, worms, and bacteria that do similar things. In nature, you have to have backup systems and auxiliary systems so that if one species fails, the whole ecosystem doesn't fail. It's similar to a spaceship. On the ISS, you don't just have one air filtration system, you have multiple. So if one fails, the rest of the ship can still survive. These rules to me signify that 
nature is much more collaborative and interactive than we might think. And I think the human world has something to learn from that. If we were to really take in what's around us, take in true information and share it with others and really collaborate, I think we can make wonderful things. And time and time again, throughout history, we've proven that we do.